In this example, the cost of producing X electronic games is given by the CX equals 1080 plus 42X plus 0.3X squared dollars by the value of X that minimize the average cost function if X is between zero and 90. The function is polynomial, is the continuous function on the given closed interval 0, 90. We are looking at the x that minimize the average cost function on the closed interval 0, 90. Therefore, the a is 0, the b is 90. The function that we're going to use to work on is the average cost function, not the function cost that provided directly from the problem. So based on the average cost function, which is the C bar, how to derive the C bar? C bar is from the total cost, which is Cx, divided by x, which is the number of the item produced. And we're going to minimize. That means we're going to find the absolute minimum of the average cost function and what the production level that will minimize the C bar. From the C bar, which is 1080 plus 42X plus 0.3X squared, all divided by X, or we can write it as 1080 divided by X plus 42, plus 0 0.3 times x. And then to find the x that minimizes the average cost function, we're going to go with the three steps, which means the step one, we're going to find the critical value that makes the c bar prime to be 0, or the c bar prime to be undefined. OK? So we're going to start with finding the derivative from the C bar equals 1080 over x plus 42 plus 0 point x. Let me write this term to be 1080 times x to the negative first. So then when we find the critical value from finding the derivative, we're going to find the derivative in the power form. So the C bar prime equals negative 1080 times x to the negative second plus zero plus 0 0.3, or we can rewrite it as negative 1080 over x squared plus 0 0.3. Then, then we have two terms. We're gonna simplify into, two, into one single fraction, which is 1080 plus 0 0.3 x squared, all divided by x squared. This way, we can see the derivative in the fraction form. After we get the fraction form, we can identify the x that will make the numerator, which is the, the, um, the top expression, to be 0, and the denominator, which is the bottom expression, to be 0. So the case of the C bar prime to be 0, that means the numerator equals 0. The undefined is going to be the case of the denominator equals 0. So let's look at the first case. For the C bar prime equals 0, this way, we're going to set the numerator to be 0, which is 1080 plus 0 0.3 x squared equals 0. And we're going to solve for x. We have x squared equals 1080 divided by 0 0.3. That turns out to be 3600. And we're going to take the square root to get 60. Recall when you take the square root, supposed to be plus and minus sign, but x is the production level. We just disregard the negative sign. So x is 60. Yes, 60 is between 0 and 90, so we keep it. And next, we're going to look at the case, the denominator, the, the c bar prime is undefined. If it is undefined, we look at the denominator, which is x squared. Let x squared be, become 0 and solve for x, x is 0. When you look at the 
the interval 0 is not within 0 and 90. Since we don't count the left end, the right end, so it has to be the interior point. So then we take this one away. That means the critical value is just one value, x equals 60. And after that, if we just come to the second step, the second step is to compute the function value, which is the C bar or the average cost function at the left end, at the right end, and at the critical value, 60. We call what is the C bar? I'm going to highlight it. The C bar is this function. So at zero, it's not defined. So we're going to say it's undefined. So this value is out. At zero, it's gone. So at 90, we're going to plug it in. So it's going to be 1080 divided by 90 plus 42 plus 0 0.3 times 90. Put in the calculator, see what we have. We obtain the value 81. And the next value, plug in x with the 60. So 1080 divided by 60 plus 42 plus 0 0.3 times 60. We obtain a number 78. Now, look at the problem. We are going to find the x that minimizes the average cost function from the numbers that we obtain. This is the largest. This is the smallest. We look for the x value that make that minimizes. That means we're gonna take the x equals 60 as a result. So number three. The, the average cost will be minimized at x equals 60.